We've taken limits with tables and graphs, but probably the best way to take a limit is algebraically. We're going to take a look in this video at finding those limits using algebra. The first way we can do a limit using algebra is with direct substitution. We'll do that whenever possible. If we're interested in what the function is getting close to, let's just plug the number in and see what it's approaching. For example, if we have the limit as x approaches 4 of the square root of 5x minus 4, we want to know what this is getting close to. We can directly put the 4 in for the x. And that's going to give us the square root of 5 times 4 minus 4. And then simplifying gives us the square root of 20 minus 4, or the square root of 16. This function's getting closer and closer to 4. The problem is direct substitution doesn't always work. And it turns out in calculus, most of the time, the direct substitution doesn't work, which means we have to first simplify if possible. Let's try, for example, the limit as x approaches 4 of x squared minus 16 over x minus 4. The reason we can't do direct substitution is if I put that 4 in for the x in the denominator, we'd have 4 minus 4, which is 0. And we can't have 0 in the bottom of a fraction. But what I can do is factor that numerator to x plus 4 times x minus 4 over the denominator of x minus 4. Notice then the x minus 4s can reduce out, and we're just left with the limit as x approaches 4 of x plus 4. Now we no longer have the problem of the denominator being equal to 0, and we can plug that 4 directly into the x, giving us 4 plus 4 or 8. Let's try another one that requires a little simplifying. Let's take the limit as x approaches 3 of x squared minus x minus 6 over x squared plus 2x minus 15. Ideally, we'd want to put the 3 in for the x. But 3 squared is 9, and 2 times 3 is 6. 9 plus 6 is 15, and 15 minus 15 is 0. We can't have 0 in the denominator. But what we can do is factor that fraction and find out that the limit as x approaches 3 of, that factors to x minus 3 times x plus 2, over x plus 5 times x minus 3. And then we can reduce out the x minus 3 factor which just leaves us the limit as x approaches 3 of x plus 2 over x plus 5. Now we can do the direct substitution of that 3 into both of those x's, giving us 3 plus 2 over 3 plus 5, or 5 eighths for our limit. This idea of removing factors so that we can find the limit gets at the idea of continuity. We call that a removable discontinuity. And we'll take a look at what that is in our next video.